welcome to the video. Before we begin, if not already, please take a moment to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And click the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload. Comment your little heart out. And most of all, please enjoy. Now back to the video. I don't do camping. I like walls. I like a roof. I like a toilet and running water. I like civilization. You know what happens when we lose civilization? $30 toilet paper and no sriracha. Well, they say we're a couple of meals away from society collapse. Yeah, so to me, not worth it. Your mileage may vary. This is Yellow Brick. Wait, there's no space, so I guess it's Yellow Brick Road. In the 1940s, the town of Fryer walked into the wilderness and went, as they say in Australia, walkabout. 572 people left, but only 300 bodies were recovered. Of those recovered, some were frozen, others butchered. Only one person survived, but his recorded interview shows that he didn't all come back. The event was so devastating, the government covered up the whole thing. Typical. The town eventually repopulated, sorta, and life went on, sorta. Today, the trail is declassified, probably just took the sign down. Our leading man is Teddy, played by Michael Larino. He's leading a group of future victims to document the disappearances. Already with the Blair Witch vibes, Teddy obtains the declassified files from a blurry man. Yay, we got the stuff we couldn't Google. I'm really gonna miss you guys. Did they just break up with him? Are they a thruple? The crew consists of Teddy, Teddy's wife Melissa, Walter, Sibling cartographers Daryl and Aaron, forestry expert Cy, and Jill. The professor and Marianne will not be joining us on this expedition. I don't know if we'll find all the answers out there. Ooh, pancakes. What smell do you associate with the color red? Cherries. What does that mean? It means you don't have brain damage. I answered cinnamon. Am I going to be okay? Pack up the gear and orgy fuel. Metaphorically and physically, we're going deep. The GPS trail starts at the movie theater. According to this and the numbers you gave me, the trail heads right here. So, we'll catch a movie first, then go. Who's got my milk duds? Are you like uh, retarded hikers or something? Because you're in a movie theater. Wise guy. Teddy meets Liv, a local who knows what's up. She's on, she wants on this expedition, and she knows where the trail really starts. This is the infamous yellow brick road. Not very yellow, is it? Everyone, lick your lips, now pout. When did you finally see a penis? These are brain damage tests. Everyone is doing well, but wanna bet people start failing these? We're hiking, we're hiking. So describe for me your first sexual experience. Are they all gonna fit in the tent? Kinky. They find a hat with no owner, in great condition. There's no way this hat's been through 70 years of weather. Can I wear it? Why would you want to wear it? My head's cold. Now we make sextant time. Nice. Do you take off the hat? Aaron is creeped out by Daryl wearing the creepy hat. But that dude's totally rocking it. Either the GPS is busted or they hike to Guam. Come on, if we keep going, we'll hit Bermuda. This is brother and sister. Roger Rabbit would call this incest. The next day, weird sounds. They steal milk. Or the neighbors are just having a party. One of the crew tries to self-crucify. Just outside of Melbourne. And the intern's GPS is still broken. Too bad for her, this was her job. The weird distant music haunts the group, but they can't pinpoint or identify it yet. Or ever. Does that mean there's a point in the center? Yeah. I think that's where the music's coming from. You know a movie is starting to bore the cast when they try to entertain themselves between takes. Yes, I knew I could make someone cry. Poisonous nightshade berries are growing everywhere. And we know how bad nightshade is. It's deadly. So, don't eat. We'll have plenty of meat when the time comes, if you know what I mean. Who needs berries when we get booze? It's party time and everyone got so sloshed they forgot to record it so all we got are production stills. Liz admits to not really knowing everything about the Yellow Brick Road, Yellow Brick Road, and then proceeds to tell them the locals don't want the truth out. You could have led with that. If she never let them out here, this wouldn't have been an issue, would it? Oh, and the music's back. During a break to gain their bearings, Daryl and Aaron get into it. 
She drops the delicate and probably very expensive sextant. Careful, we rented that in 1834. We're all sick of the hat, you poser. Shut your face Shut and up, take off the hat. It's a fucking Just take it off. All right, sheesh. Everyone's a fashion critic. Kind of an overreaction. You know, siblings, they argue over stupid stuff and then things escalate. Mom. What do we have? Wet willy, dangle spit, then beating with a rock before pulling her leg clean off? That escalated quickly. Can we go back to the wet willy? Aaron dies and Daryl seems surprised. Oh shit, mom's gonna kill me. Daryl runs off and everyone is just freaking out again. Morale is at an all-time low. Melissa? What? Nothing, bitch. I think I did something really bad. No shit, Sherlock. I hurt my leg. No man, that wasn't your leg. You're not in trouble. We all thought your sister was out of line. That was a sweet hat, bro. Yeah. Everyone who loves you will forgive you. Psych, we don't love you. I thought it for days. Basically, don't feel bad. We all wanted to kill her. You just beat us to it. Daryl comes along quietly and they bring him back to camp. He thinks he found the way to the end of the road and the source of the music. That'll take you to the end of the road, Teddy. Teddy's like, nah. Hey, hey, I'm pretty sure it's after 10. You better turn that shit down before I call the cops. Suddenly, they're attacked with dubstep. <laughs> which makes hiking home hard. The path is blocked by yet another reference to the Wizard of Oz. If only Aaron's corpse had a brain and life. Teddy tries to climb over and catch a sight of the end of the road. Eh, looks nice, right? While everyone is distracted, Daryl steals a machete, jacks their only vehicle, and drives off with their food. Come back, you have my retainer! Dissatisfied with the leadership, Sai and Liv split off from the main group and keep walking. Teddy and Melissa are off to see the wizard. Oil churn. Squish! Knock your boots three times together and say there's no place like bone. Are we done with the Wizard of Oz references? <laughs> Naturally, he bolts in the morning, just when she was telling him about her dream. The grass was black and the sky was full of smoke, but I was dead. Get to the point, I gotta bounce. <laughs> Teddy needs answers. They all came this way after all, and I guess he feels responsible for them, which is why he goes alone. And one less author on the book deal. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Melissa and the remaining group continue on. Sai and Liv seem to be doing okay until they come across more bad berries. They're not all bad. Gets you high. That's supposed to deter this bunch? Bad berries ain't so bad after all. Except Sai admits that he wants to do unspeakable things to live. Can I touch your hair? No, we're worse than that. That night, Jill eats the last of their food. At least she knows she messed up. I'm sorry! I was so hungry! Keep walking, keep walking, ignore her. But all is forgiven. <laughs> She was well fed and all that meat is going to waste. I'm gonna do something to you that's unspeakable. What, like butt stuff? Before Sai can go crazy, he asks Liz to tie him up and kill him. I'm gonna break my neck. I can't, I don't know how. I believe in you, murder me. Pretend I'm a big bottle of vodka and twist my head clean off. Wait, wait, I changed my mouth. <laughs> I feel so alive. Hey, weren't there three of us? Uh. Walter, preferring to die sane, TikToks his own suicide. Oh shit, I forgot, how am I supposed to send the shit out? Ted's fine, putting those man versus wild skills to use. Eating bugs, drinking pee, probably. Daryl's back, he chases down Melissa and chops her right up. Liv shows up, high on berries and kills Daryl. The reservoir dogs shoot each other. She ODs on the berries, leaving Teddy as the last survivor. Hey, who is that? Teddy reaches the end of the trail, which looks like the theater from the beginning. He hiked in a fucking circle. <laughs> Give me 10 buckets of popcorn and a 32 ounce Diet Coke. The usher is creepy and kind of rude. I'm listening. There are yes. others. Enjoy your picture show, Mr. Barnes. Take your seat, sir! That's one way to get views. Oh shit, that was creepy. Who wears hats in a movie theater? Rude. 
we find out where the missus is. This is our home. The grass is black. The sky is choked with smoke. Badly photoshopped into a tree. Yeah, I'm right there with you, pal. That was Yellow Brick Road. This movie bears some parallels to the real-life Datloff Pass incident where the group of people all died on a mountainside under mysterious circumstances. And of course the Dahmer party, with less cannibalism. The sinister usher shows up at the end, no reason to his character, we're left to wonder if he's the cause of the friar disappearance, another victim, or the devil himself. The crew are a batch of bland, melodramatic yuppies, little to no background, there's a bit of a inferred love triangle that doesn't really come into play, a brother and sister relationship that goes very wrong, and a woman who lies herself into this situation who had no reason to. It's trying to be a creepy psychological horror. Creepy? Yeah, I'll give them that. You're wondering what the hell is happening, but you don't get any satisfaction to that question. When the kids were losing their shit in the Blair Witch, you could deduce the reason. The witch, duh. Is this a group of people just randomly losing their minds? Is there something in the environment? Is it something they ate? It's possibilities that could have explained what the hell's going on here. Even not to explain it, but just something to get that ball rolling. Instead, things just start happening. For a movie set outdoors, it's effectively claustrophobic. Trapped on a narrow path, the movie is practically on rails. Even the title lacks space. I do like the cinematography in this movie. Vivid visuals of the landscape, peaceful yet full of menacing with a sense of isolation and doom. And some of the effects are quite effective, and some betray the budget. Again, what the hell is this? The recurring references to The Wizard of Oz, which Blair Witch also did briefly, plants images of witches, dark forests, and fantastic creatures, and oddly, stealing footwear. But this movie is about losing one's way, literally and metaphorically. There's a big mystery we're hoping to unravel, but by the end we're left with even more questions. They don't even set up any sort of mythology to explore other than the ton of people who went missing. The only soundtrack is the music in the distance, and it kind of serves as a constant antagonist. What is going on? Yellow Brick Road is two and a half Bs. It starts out with an intriguing mystery that doesn't get solved, and instead we get to watch a bunch of yuppies murder each other to ragtime. The cryptic ending just doesn't live up to all this buildup. There's some creepy stuff here and there that stuck with me. In the end, that's all I took away. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment the bell. You know the usual YouTube stuff. This is The Newbie, and I'll see you later, kids. Toodles.